Hello YouTubers, today we have an unpacking video which I haven't done in a while, but here I got two fire alarm devices and they're not the, your typical computerized alarms as I like to call them but they're the older type and you'll find out what they are once I unpack them alright judging by the title you might already know now I just got this out of the mailbox right now and check this out this is one of those system sensor L series alarm boxes I'm gonna keep that for I'm gonna have to keep that box it's kinda cool but I was surprised when I found that in the mail like huh it's an L series yes I've seen them everywhere especially at a lot of Lowe's stores in my area because they recently been upgrading to L series alarms and putting a new firelight panel in place so yeah Let's get unpacking. I'm gonna try to be careful not to really damage this box because I want to keep it. You know, it's collectors. If I could get to it. And then, of course. And they put some tape around the little opening here, so they really don't want to hurt the box too much. If I could keep it in frame. The purple post it is obviously the address. I'm just blocking it. In case you're wondering, all the shipping info and whatnot. Make sure there is no papers on the inside. Oh, there's tape on the side. Yeah, some sellers like to do the tape on the sides, which I guess is good. Better than having your stuff arrive all damaged. I don't know which one this one is, and I, was, I think I already know because I saw the paper here. Put that off to the side. I think I might know what this one is. Get this cardboard and all this stuff out of the way. Oh, I know what this one is. I know this alarm. I just dropped it and it has a lot of weight to it. Sorry guys. I call this the king of fire alarms right here. They Every, almost every enthusiast has in their collection one of these a 7002T except mine is a, the 7002T-12 most of them are 7002T24 look at the size of that coil now a while back well this was probably like three four years ago I ordered a wheel lock 34 I believe it was a wheel lock 34T alarm the one that I converted into the speaker and that one unfortunately was missing this piece here this upper piece here oh well, there's still wires in there cool but yeah there's it was missing this piece which was preventing it from vibrating but I remember playing with the I'm gonna call it a transformer slash you know just a magnetic coil I powered one of these up, I powered that one transformer up and I stuck my screwdriver on it and it caught my screwdriver pretty good. Because it was being, a, oh, so it's like a type of electromagnet. It's pretty cool stuff. I believe I still have that transformer somewhere. Obviously I can't test it right now, I have to test it when no one's around. Because I want to annoy everyone, especially one of my dogs. Because my sister got a puppy back in... November and that dog does not like machinery and I bet she probably won't like this. She'll in fact she'll probably just bark at it, telling it to be quiet. She does not like impact drivers. I'm gonna put it in the frame here so you can see. Get all this out of the way. And we have another type of alarm. It's kind of a mixed. It's kind of everyone has a mixed opinion about this alarm. Some like it, some don't. I know everyone likes this type of alarm. Made by wheel lock. I believe this one was new in the box. I'm gonna turn no paper in here. I think this one's got, okay, here we go. Something you might already know already here. And right here, we got another mechanical alarm made by Faraday. 
6230B. And the reason I got this alarm was because Rio Vista, which is an elementary school really close by to my house, which I could hear their alarms go off and the school bell going off from the, my backyard. I used to go there for kindergarten and I remember they used to use they used to use these on the exterior of the school long time ago. But sadly they've upgraded their alarm system also to a Siemens system because they had a gym built on the campus so they had to upgrade their alarm system but then they use the standard I forget the model of the Siemens alarms but or it might have been pyrotronics however you pronounce it but in the classrooms and in the buildings but but this is a type of electro horn which is interesting because it's got a little circuit board there look at that coil it's pretty cool but that'd be a good I bet that's a real good electromagnet Pretty cool looking. I've always wanted a mechanical alarm for the longest time because they're pretty cool. Something different from the computerized alarms, and that comes with two screws. And I went to Home Depot today and I got a four inch deep, finally got a four inch deep J box. That's that's how you, which is this is called a double gang junction box, but I most. Well, Professionals abbreviate as a J box and a bunch of these a bunch of these shorter boxes that I already had on on hand now Hopefully this one will fit. I don't know if it'll fit. I only got one box it Might be tight I hope it's hope it's not too tight for this And I know this one it was no this one it had this one for sure had to have a four inch deep box but for sure it fits. So I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video and I'll test these. I'll have to test them at some point and I'll show you guys. So stay tuned. Okay you viewers, it's the next day and got these two hooked up. Got my 6230 hooked up and my 7002T hooked up. They're just hooked up to two 9 volt batteries for the time being. And yes I know I'm aware that this it's a 12 volt model, but this actually has a this actually can support up to 15 volts as it as the spec shows in the back. I don't know if this camera will focus, but it says 9 to 15 volts DC. 15.6 volts DC. I did test them and they do work. This one's a little bit sticky, which these are very famous for. Raspy and sticky. This actually sounds pretty good. This one actually is very high pitch. Depends on which 7002T you get. Some are high pitched, some are low pitched. Some skip fast, some skip slow. <clears throat> so here you go. Hopefully the camera will pick up the strobe, but it's going to be loud. So here we go, guys. The loudness begins now. Yeah, that's pretty loud. And this is my my extra AS alarm I have on hand. I don't have this hooked up because I don't know which is the loudest, this or that, but my bet is this, because this instantly blows my eardrums out. I don't know about an advance, a little spectral alert advances. Because these two, this and the advances, I don't know. Can't compare how loud they are. They sound the same to me. But yeah, it's mechanical alarms. Got no, just daisy chain. Now I'm thinking about build putting something together in here. But my concern is I was hoping this would sound low pitch with the with 18 volts. But this I guess it depends. I want to put both of these in this room, but they're not gonna be on my existing alarm system because I want to strictly keep that low frequency sounder. I kind of want these to be my entertain my entertainment al alarms. Let's put it that way, my entertainment alarms. Hook like a little tiny switch. Hook a little tiny switch up. Maybe like get a dot of red nail polish and put a little dot of it on there to signify which one's alarms. Mechanical alarms. Because like I said, I've actually, I've been to a couple schools that use these in the classrooms. 
Probably the 24, probably the 24 volt versions, but one school was built in the late 80s, one was built in the 90s. So, and they used these. And I used to remember, I was like probably second, third grade, up all the way up until sixth grade when they had sadly changed these out for these, the white versions of these, because they had the gyms built. It was two different, two different elementary schools. And I remember there was this one in the office at my last elementary school before I went to high school. It skipped really slow. And it was very low pitch. And there were some classes where it just skipped really ultra fast. Oh, it depends on these. Very, very just amazed about the engineering of these. I, I wouldn't be surprised... And this is just my bet here, in my opinion, too. If I were to screw one of these, one of these in this box, and for instance, maybe throw it off an airplane, I bet this thing would still work probably fine. Given that it hits dirt, not concrete, but dirt. Because this is like, this is really good magnesium metal right here. This isn't that cheap stuff you find in a lot of stuff these days. Those are tanks, let's just say that. And this here is just plastic. This would obviously break real easily. Now I've always liked the design of these. I really do. And like I said, there used to be a Marshalls. There was a there was a Marshalls like really close by, and they used to have one of these outside their store. But then sadly, some some technician decided it was a good idea to stick another stick a box over this one of those weatherproof boxes and put a new horn on it. It looks very bad. <laughs> really, really bad. Rather than take this off the wall and put the new device in, they just screwed a weatherproof box on one of these. That's how bad the, that's how bad the some technicians are. Ooh, sorry about that. There's the back here. Now, I don't know what would fix the sticky issue with these because I know it's very common with these Faraday horns. These electro Electro horns, white lithium grease, what? Because I, I feel like there's not too much grease. And then this, I don't know if that's supposed to be loose. This is a plastic guard for this board here. It's right in the box. So I wonder what, what I can do to improve this and improve its longevity because I, these are cool. In fact, there were some Lego pieces when I was little and I used to. That were like they they had they were just flat flat. And I used to pretend it was this. Yeah, I used to do that when I was little. I bet most of us did that. Those in the community. And now I have one right here. It's finally, this happened. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Probably in the next part, I will be installing them just in this room. I'm not sure about the AS in the shop. If I were to put that up, I would put it in the shop, but it wouldn't, again, be part of the, the other alarm system. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Something a little different. Mechanical horns for a change. And stay tuned for more.